Oh, so high best zone in the game. Ah, the other best zone. Oh, and uh, for the record, when I say a lot of spiders, I mean so many that one of them has a. There's a spider with a gun in a Pikmin game. So welcome to Press Garden Zone. So well, first act here's all right. It's uh, kind of there. Second act though. That's actually, actually, I think the first act is just as good, honestly. I get the neat idea of a newspaper plant, but I think it's just cooler. Second sound is beautiful. This year, though, I just really like the music. I think the music gets better in the second one, honestly, because this this is all right, but it feels a little samey. It, it's a bit too repetitive. It doesn't feel as calming as actually. No, yeah. well, I will say the second boss, this, the Act Two boss, is definitely better than the first one. The first boss here is kind of. Eh. Yeah, the Act Two boss is definitely one of the better ones in the game. I don't know what's the best Act Two boss. I'm not sure. I think my least favorite is probably the Act 1 for Mirage Saloon. And Depth Perception. Yeah. At, at least Sonic and Tails' version. Knuckles, uh... What does he even get? He gets another one. What? He gets another version of it. Oh right, he fights that thing on the ground, doesn't he? Yeah, so it's easier for him. Like, if it was a... Uh, I'll play when I get to Mirage Saloon, actually. Yeah, I've only played through this game as Knuckles once, so... You don't remember much? I don't remember how his level design changes. It's mostly just changed to come to the fact that he can glide, so it's not too different. Also, I just- I love these bouncy conveyor belts. I like the fact that the instant you said that, it pushes you out. Just like, no, get away. <laughs> but I love you. I don't love you, though. It's okay. I understand. Where's the button for this one? It's up there. Yeah, it's very good. Yep, there it is. Uh... I do wonder though, with this basically being the de facto thing for 2D Sonic, what is gonna be next for 3D Sonic? What are they doing? Why is it probably gonna be? Uh, what do you mean? Well, let's see. What, what was the last, like, universally agreed to be just good Sonic game? I. I think that was Generations. And what year was that? 2012? 11. 11. From that time, we've had Sonic Lost World, which was mixed. We've had Sonic Boom, which was a catastrophe. We've had Sonic Forces, which really wanted to be saving Private Ryan, but fucked the- What- what does that mean? It really wants to be a serious as hell war movie, and it completely fails. It really just feels to me like Sega doesn't really know what to do with 3D Sonic. No, and the problem is they keep changing it. Like, they don't know what works, even though they have working formulas for it. Generate yeah, like, colors work, the adventure formula works. Why are you not just using one of those? Stop experimenting so much. Like, I don't even think it's a problem with them experimenting. It's just not building on what made the previous one worked. I think that, that was kind of like the biggest problem with Lost World is that that game is so experimental that it will change level design ideas of what I have. It doesn't know what it wants to do. I do like the parkour system in Lost World. Like when it works, it is fun, but sometimes yeah. it's, you know. 
I said hi last time. Uh... Okay, so this one's not too hard. It's got to lure him into hitting the boxes. It's not too bad. It's just kind of annoying. Specifically, you got to lure him into hitting the wooden boxes, which I have no idea why his saw blade breaks when he hits the wooden ones, but not the steel ones. I don't know about the steel boxes. Those look very steel to me. The paper mache. Paper mache? No. They're under the guise of uh, steel boxes. You can also damage boost through to get to get extra hitting if you want. Well, that's no way about it. The game's not letting me. There we go. Got three good hits in on him. Taking six minutes in this stage. No, this stage is long. It didn't feel that long. <laughs> because you were shooting the shit and playing games. What are you? Fair enough. Fair enough. Meanwhile, the Legion of Doom. <laughs> Nothing happening. Life. Life ate him. He'll be back. No, no. Doom ate him. No, uh, Doom will be back. Just give him like two weeks. Once spring break rolls around, he might show up again. Oh, I missed. Oh, you missed. Ah, no time bonus. As but, I still, but I still got an extra life from that. Alright, now for the prettiest act in the game. Yep. Okay, who actually came up with the idea for Press Garden Zone? Because this is brilliant. Um, I don't remember who it was, I just know that, uh... Oh, like, oh. I would never in a million years have thought of something like this. Hang on a sec, I... I don't remember, the, I don't remember who the concept artist was from Mania, I remember the... Oh, wait, no, t -Lops. T Lopes had to compose the music when he saw like the concept art. That was when he based it off of Shinobi. Oh. Yeah, T Lopes did the step. I actually thought that was a place you could go down. Dave said no. <laughs> but yeah, T Lopes, um, who, did, who did the intro for the Humble Giant, he did the entire soundtrack for this game. He's a really good soundtrack guy. You should check his book out. Yeah, I've heard the thing he did for Johnny. <laughs> Let's check out more of his work sometime. There's a lot of artists who I need to see more of their work. Right, here's Bubble Shield. Just lets you uh, bounce. It also prevents you from drowning in water. Yep. And also deflects projectiles, so it has three uses. Oh, and we're frozen. I was frozen, Terry! Get out of the way. Okay, this song, this is the song from this soundtrack that I just play outside of the game, like when I want to relax. What, you mean you don't just play the entire soundtrack on me? I do, I do play other parts of the soundtrack, but mostly when I'm working on a script or something. Also legitimate. This is, this is just relaxing, though. Legitimate question. Yeah? When it comes to writing, like, countdowns and stuff, what's worse? Writing or editing? Writing. I am so bad at thinking of what to write. And that's the funny thing. I'm the opposite. Yeah, I will come up with whatever the hell I'll need for that script in the middle of the night without even thinking. When it comes to editing, I'm just like, ugh. Can, can, we, so, can we swap frames? You know what I mean. <laughs> just sw swap things that we're good at. Can How about we just do a lot more collabs? 
You know what? Actually, yeah. Let's, we, let's we do We had an idea a long time ago that was supposed to be a collab for us. I don't know what it was, though. I forget. I... Man, we've had so many collab ideas, actually. Yeah, we do have that other one with Shadow that we need to work on, but... Uh... Ah, shoot. Oh, I remember what it was. What was it? It was, uh, Top 10 Wii U games. Top 10 Wii U games, right. Yeah, that was a while, that was a while ago, geez. Also, how do I get through this, though? Well, you don't. You're not supposed to go that way. Okay, good to know. I'm good at this game, guys, I promise. <laughs> I'm kind of going to have to keep saying that as positive reinforcement for yourself. <laughs> Like, you're supposed to climb Thanks. the trees over to the left, that's what you're supposed to do. Thank you, thank you. As you can see, the trees would like to- the... Don't hit the spring! No! <laughs> over here. Okay, uh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I this, see. This is the part where the ice comes back and you actually can get through there. No, 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 I don't actually understand how you're supposed to get that one, but this one just let the ice. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a fire shield or something in this area? I don't think there is, because I don't think fire shield works on this stuff, but I don't know. I haven't tested it in debug mode. Because that isn't a lockable feature in this game in debug mode, which is pretty great. <laughs> oh, but I think I just saw a giant ring back, back there. Bye, giant ring. actually haven't run into any special stages after the first one. Uh, there are a couple that I know of in Garage and Oil Ocean, but it's gonna be a while until we get there. I know of one that I missed in Green Hill, and I think I could have gotten one in Chemical Plant. I yeah, there's a few in Chemical Plant, and I know one in Studio Opolis. The thing is, I don't... Because it's been so long since I last played this, I don't remember where all of the big are. Alright, we're not- we're just casual let's play, we're not doing this super thing. Okay? You know, for the longest time I was thinking, when I do let's plays, I want to be like Chugga and Nisei and do mostly completionist runs. Also, hi Shinobi! Okay, so no here, you can't hit him when he's on the ground, you gotta catch him in midair and then hit him when, when he's trying to do that. That's what you gotta do. So as I was saying, uh, lately I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't be obsessed with doing that. See, that's what I do with my Let's Plays, but that's also the problem with my Let's Plays. Because I like doing 100% runs, but that also means you gotta commit to long-term projects, and it's why I've been taking so long having fourth LP. Yeah, and also you have to be sure that you're not forgetting anything. Well that's, well, that's why you have to like plan ahead with that sort of thing, because, no secret, uh, my fourth Let's Play was supposed to be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. That didn't work out for a multitude of reasons, mostly the fact that Mystery Dungeon EX got, or DX got announced. So I said, okay, no, I'm, I'm not doing this, I'm just going to turn this off and then I'm going to go play that one for the Let's Play instead. So not even- Oh, you know, okay. you know, that reminds me of when... Chugga's Splatoon Let's Play came out right before Splatoon 2 was announced, and he was so afraid that it was a re-release, oh, and Spl that he wouldn't be Let's Playing the definitive version of the game anymore because he likes doing that. Oh, so like what happens when everything involving Okami happens? Yeah. Speaking of which, where is that final bonus video? Okami bonus video! <laughs> It'll come when it comes. That, that was the- that was the last set of Wheel of Fortune videos that came out on TRG at the time of recording this. Yeah. What the sound effect he recorded when he messed up was, Okami bonus video! <laughs> Wheel of Fortune is such a fun series. Just dunk on a meal simulator. <laughs> That's really what it is. I mean, that's half of TRG, to be fair. 
especially in recent years. Oh, uh, that's a third of PIG. One third dunk on a meal, one third John Luck sucks, and one third Tim is there. Tim's just chillin'. Sometimes Tim kind of messes up hilariously, like Luigi's Mansion. I'm sorry, Tim, we love you, but good lord, you fell for the same door trick five times. <laughs> also, I didn't even realize that we got to Stardust Speedway. Can we appreciate Stardust Play Act 1's music for a second? I love this track. It is pretty nice. Like you mentioned, uh, like, relaxing to uh, Press Garden Act 2. This is a good track for relaxing. Start a Speedway Act 1. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how do you... It's not supposed to go that way. It's supposed to go that way. Down, down. Down, right. Oh, I thought, I thought he was supposed right. to go up. <laughs> I thought he was supposed to go up. My face is hurting from smiling awkwardly this whole time. We're gonna have to have a Kiara as good as, good as this game, we swear, count. Well, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, this is the advantage of doing Let's Plays at Midnight, where we're much loopier. <laughs> we're much more liable to either make mistakes or just be entertaining. Uh, I don't think... Oh, okay, what am I saying? Um, so, Act 2 of this boss. Have you played the remixed version of this bo of Act 2's boss fight? I... I do know that the Act 2 boss for Star's Speedway was changed. Have you played it? I have only played the remixed version. I never got to play the original. Okay, so you might have- you might struggle with that a bit. This, that, that fight's a bit rough. What do you mean? Uh, let's just say people really don't like the remixed boss fight for Dart of Speedway. And it's got some questionable hitboxes at times. Plus an instant kill scenario. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, everything else about the fight is fine, but uh, yeah, it's- the last section is a uh, is thick. Mm. Like everything else is fine, but the parts they added, just like, why did you do that? Wasn't wasn't the original fight more like the one in CD? Yes, because it was just it was just the race segment at the end. I'm not really sure why they changed it. I guess they wanted to incorporate Knuckles Chaotix, I guess, or maybe Sonic Heroes, depending on what you think of it is. I I- I thought it was a Heroes reference. Circle Chaotix did it first with Giant Metal Sonic. And it more yeah. resembled that thing than the Metal Overlord. Like, also, I'm... hi! But it's giant not... Firefly for a boss! Remember when we just had Giant Badniks as bosses? No? But we're gonna do it again later, so... There will, there will be a test. Oh! 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 Gosh, you didn't... Uh, I don't like the sound of that. I'm not good at tests. They, they, they make, they make me stressed. I'm sorry, there's a test. If you're not ready for it, well, you should have studied more. Well, how was I supposed to know what I'm supposed to study for? It's a study guide. It's called the video game. If you were paying attention when you played your own video game, you should understand. And here we go again. But, but This is how I study. Alright, all right, Miss Smarty Pants, explain how this helps me study for a test. I'll wait. Well, um... Um... I feel like I have Lockjaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I need water. I, I haven't laughed as hard as fucking, <laughs> fucking speedrunner shenanigans. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks. Got the fucking technical difficulties, please.
better. Marginally. <laughs> God, could you imagine if you had to play Mega Man in base like this? Thank oh god I played Mega Man 1, so you said it was too early for a Mega Man game. Yeah. Come on, you every, every time I think about getting back into Let's Plays, I've always thought, Hey, Mega Man's pretty short, I can knock that out pretty easy. And then you do Mega Man 1 for the channel, and I... And we had this whole idea about doing races with multiple people. Races? Let's plays with multiple people commentating. And I want to do that too. And then you played Mega Man. So. I didn't want to have two Mega Man races. Let's plays back to back. I need to stop saying races in place of Let's Play. Is he, is because he... that's because that's what we do most of the time on this channel oh, is okay. racism. For a second, I thought for sure you were gonna mince your words and say racism, and I was gonna have some choice words to say. Mostly, <laughs> with me. I I would have corrected myself in post if I said something as bad as that. I mean, I would have just been a simple case of wait a minute, what? Okay. Um, I... But yeah, we don't really do Let's Plays, and the only one that we finished was the one I did. <laughs> All of them. Yeah, so if you don't know, uh, years ago, I started a Let's Play of Mega Man and Base on the channel, and um, I never finished it. Yeah, what, five parts then? I think it was five parts. I think so. Shadow got one part into Bioshock, and I, being the crazy person, decided to play through Meat Boy because Meat Boy is easy for me, so I just played through it in quick, in three quick parts. And I also did Super Mario 64, and I think he finished that. Uh, he did finish that, so that's so that's two, I guess. So that's three. Air is a, a lot better at finishing projects than I am. Well, let plays are not. Well, let plays of less hard games, at least. Well, it wasn't even that it was hard, it was... Oh, what commentary? I think I just lost interest in doing it. I mean, that, that's, that, that could be another thing that happened. Okay, oh, here so... We go. Alright, so destroy that monitor and the boss fight begins! First we gotta save all these random animals, and then piss off Metal Sonic. Hello, Metal Sonic. Uh, let me jump on your head. You're not going to let me jump on your head, are you? Oh, no, you can't do that. Okay, so first phase. Basically like his fight from Sonic Generations. Or CD, depending. So no, CD's fight is more or less just the race. He doesn't actually try and hurt you like this. Yeah. Also, random question because I need, feel the need to ask it. Did you forget about the drop dash in this game? I literally just remembered that as right before you said that. I forget how to do it. When you're in the air, press the same button again. Like, press jump again in the air, and it will cause you to wind up for the, for the, for the drop dash. I'm doing it, but it's not- there it is! Do the thing. Okay, so this boss is kind of weird. The way I do this is typically, I don't even bother, like, trying to bounce them. I just curl up in a corner, let them come to me, and then ram into them. Because those, those uh, exploding bits will also hurt him. Yep. Like that. I find it more fun to bounce them up, though. Okay, that's phase two. Now for the hard part. This part they actually straight up gave you another checkpoint for. Was this in the original version of the fight? This part? No, this part's new. No, I meant the checkpoint. The checkpoint is new. Okay. Okay. Now you get to see it in all its glory. So you gotta aim for oh. the chest, watch out, get out of there. Oh god. Go, 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 go! Ooh. 
Oh, yeah. That's the, that oh. is the problem with this phase is you can get trapped behind him pretty easily. Yeah, that's the big issue with this. Plus, it's really easy to lose your rings since you're constantly moving forward and hands. Yeah, I see why they give you another checkpoint here. Yeah, this is probably one of the most annoying parts of the run. Like, the final boss is long and does take a while to get through, but this is rough. This part, I'd say, more or less, don't spin dash. Just jump once to get that to hit the glass and then get as far away as you can for safety. Thanks for the tip. I think this was the bit that hung us up the most when we were doing the race, because we weren't expecting this boss. Because I think actually the first time I played this boss for the first time, I'd never encountered um, that. That was a thing? Uh, I don't quite understand what happened there. I somehow got stuck behind him? This boss has weird hit detection. Yeah, this this one's rough. Ow. Plus that I can... Mean, I mean, I like it, but it is weird. Then again, you also like X6, so it's hard to question. It's hard to tell if your opinions are right or not sometimes. I mean... More often than... <laughs> I say that. <laughs> I, I feel like I have... Pretty good opinions most of the time. It's just the guilty pleasure stuff that I just have bad opinions on. Yeah. Like if you if you said stuff like, "Oh, I like Sonic Heroes," no one would bat an eye. But then you say you like X Six and X Seven, and I have very big issues. What if I said I like Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric? I'm gonna kill you when you sleep. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Good. I've never even played the game and I don't- I've never even played the game and I don't even have any desire to. There's some lines you did not cross in this game, that is one of them. First person that says they like Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric needs to turn five. I actually do know somebody who likes it somewhat. They're wrong. I'm never showing them this video. Also, I didn't know he had a laser attack. How yeah. many hits does he take? Um, I think eight. I don't know how that one whiffed. Um, we might wind up with the game over if you're not lucky. Yeah, I'm a little worried now. So, um, do you think my signpost juggling was unjustified now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it would have saved time in the long run. Get away, thank you. Okay, and you got rings. Whew. Honestly, I don't actually know where the hell that bomb attack came from because I've never seen him do that before. There we go. There we go. That was starting That's to get probably, a little scary. That's probably the hardest boss in the run. I'd say probably because I honestly think Titanic Monarch is a longer and more challenging fight. But that's a cheaper boss fight. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. I think I like that boss some more for this the scope, setting? The scope of it? Yeah, that. Mm. 